how to add a subdomain in Wix. Hello guys and welcome in today's video. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a domain or a subdomain to your Wix website. It is very easy, very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com, sign in for an account and after that you're going simply to see the site's dashboard. If you don't have an account or you don't have a website, it is very easy to sign up to the Wix platform and create a website. So right there, I'm going to select one of the websites that I have and it will load up right away the site's dashboard. So here we have the control panel or the control center of the website. So anything we need to set up on the website, we are going to uh, Put it right there except the design so you are going to click on the button design site now once you are on the control panel or the admin dashboard we are going to see here as the steps uh, that are needed or needs to be complete we have here connect a custom domain so let's pretend that we don't see this and it is checked so how we can see it or how we can manage and add our domain we're going simply to scroll down a little bit until we see here settings. We're going to click on it and then we're going to see the settings from here. Now we are going to search for the domains. So we are going to see it here. We have here the option to connect, manage and edit the website addresses. Click on domains and then you're going to see the whole menu of the management of the domains. So right there, what domain do you want to connect to uh, this website name? So obviously, if you are going to add a domain directly, you are going to set up .com. If you want to add a subdomain, you can go ahead and add, for example, let's say here that we are going to uh, set up the name of the site, for example, uh, clothings, clothings dot jack for example dot com for example we are going to see here if it is available and here only the owner of the primary domain jack.com can uh, connect this domain so if you have already uh, the subdomain so it is uh, the subdomain uh, here we have uh, the uh, domain which is jack and here we have the clothing jack.com which is the subdomain you're going to click on i own this domain and then you are going to click on got it and after that you're going to head over the hoster that has given you the permission or your hoster that you have bought the primary domain from and which is jack.com then you are going simply to give up give the permission right there to clothing.jack.com to be installed right here so that was pretty much it so for the uh, subdomain also the domains i hope that you have uh, understand or understood well of the process it is very easy and i hope to see you soon on the next one